to do the same in the cup up against Manchester City now. So much tall has is quite something, isn't it? What about Sean Dyche? Slightly different story. Doesn't have the same uh, <laughs> luxuries, and, and he's played Sam Vokes up front, who's a big target striker. He's going to. What's about this City team, and he's made four changes, is that they grind out results. Yeah, we know about their attacking football. One of the changes has been in goal, the understanding of Otamendi and Stones. If you're a team like Burnley that you want to be compact, you want to keep the lines tight, uh, and then you have Raheem Sterling popping in and running in the channels and Silk. Well, it's a different competition. But no sign of Pep Guardiola taking things easily. Manchester City look formidably strong. It's across his marker, and it's about winning the second ball from there. Goodmanson. Slid in by Westwood. Ford once again. And it's Silva. It was driven in with some power, and it's a bit... And he's looking to get across his marker, running towards the near post. He's fired in here with pace. Now the Premier League before that, Danilo. Terrific pass again, here is Sane. Well, he dragged the final effort. And well by Gundogan. And here is Silva with the burst down the centre. He's got support from Aguero, who goes down again, just outside the... And there's no doubt contact was just outside the 18-yard box. And that was an opportunity for... But uh, Gundogan with the ball into Silva. He's just waiting, isn't he? He just plays it into the path, and there's the push coming in, Ashley. But it's Gundogan, and the wall stands firm. Zinchenko, too high. Now, plenty of pace in the strike, over the wall. Very, very difficult, just see if the wall jumps. and see one of the players going back onto the post, trying to help his goalkeeper out as the shot came in from Zinchenko, but never really troubled in the goal. And that's what I'm talking about. Bonner, a real gift. Goodmanson with it, and it's very deep, and it's headed down, and somehow... Well, Sean Dice with the positions that David Silva's taken up with none of these midfielders picking them up. Well, there is a missed kick by Stones, and here is Ashley Barnes. Can he finish? He can! And it just came from a long ball played downfield from Pope. Sam Folks with a flick on, and John Stones on his weaker left foot. He's got to deal with that better than that. But this is an emphatic. And the Premier League leaders are behind. Well, we said they've made a few mistakes today, haven't they? Manchester City did Bravo in an instant. There's the mistake from Stones, chest, the head control, should I say, into his path, and what about that, about the goalkeepers, you should be beating it at your near post. But for me, this is just all about the pace of the strike from Ashley Park. Gave the goalkeeper no chance whatsoever, and certainly Burnley in at the moment with their hope to make the save, but Loughton wasn't to know that and did the right thing putting it out for a corner. Silva's delivery, and now Fernandez, because he should have done a lot better. You see the ball coming in from David Silva towards the far post. Just watch Otamendi here. He actually came off long, didn't it? And it was an off. Barnes lurking at the far post. Goodmanson plays it in with some loft in the end, and it's a routine claim for Bravo. Take it. Fernandinho was rising. Here is Sterling. Zinchenko! Goalkeeper Pope had it covered. You can see Sterling just laid it in his path. He's always going to take the shots on. Got plenty of curl on. Just rippling the roof of the netting. Well, he's had a couple of sights, hasn't he? One he hit the, over the top of the crossbar. Silver quickly on to Gundawan. And here is Silver again on the stretch. And as a result. At times you've got to clear your lines to try to play out of an area. Been caught in possession. And a better ball there. Here is Vokes. Almost gets the benefit position to see off the danger. And Vokes looking to release Goodmanson. That's a good ball from Goodmanson. Here is Barnes. Goodmanson picks it up. You can see he's just looking for an option. He finds it in Ashley Barnes. There wasn't a lot of movement ahead, but you can just see there he was struggling. Might have just played it into the park. He was never going to pass up the opportunity to take the strike at goal. He's in a centre. It's met by Loughton again. Here is Silva. Oh, that's a terrific ball. Gundawan. Got a, a touch to his hand. Just see with the ball here from Silva. Brilliant ball. Gundogan there, there's a ball played back. It might have been the quickness of the free kick from Gundogan. Watch the movement of Aguero in behind. On this occasion, the Burnley players are caught ball watching that against top quality player. Watch the movement 
great delivery from Gundogan, finished the match from Sergio Aguero to get his team back on. It was the skipper, me, he was initially with him, he's trying to organise his defence and then he's just switched off for a moment. And he... There is the equalising goal, Sergio Aguero continues his outstanding record in the FA Cup and Burnley's defence. Milton winning it back but then giving the ball away, it's Aguero once again. Gundogan, the back heel superb, here is Aguero, and that is... Win it back in a good area, Aguero comes in, think to shoot, there's the little ball at the Gundogan, what about that? Absolutely sensational, and then he... Brilliant! Don't get much better than this, do you? The football here is absolutely exquisite, and it's the same two players involved who got the, the first goal. We're good. Well, that's the quality that they've got, isn't it, Nigel? There's not many teams in world football who can turn it around that quickly, but they've got it. And that was absolutely sensational. Look into the empty net to give Manchester City a 2-1 lead. And in the blink of an eye, Manchester City have turned a deficit into a two. What a pass again. Sterling, Danilo, and it's blocked and so Try to hit it with the outside of his left foot. Just wondered if he should have went for his right. And we've got a little bit more purchase on the ball. Just eased it into the back of the net. It came to him quickly, running off the ball from De Niro. No one's tracked his run at all. You can see how they, were, they come over to watch Ryan Sterling. He's going behind him. He's hit it. The goalkeeper's caught on a. That's Mr. Real sitter. I tell you what, he's come in at such pace. I think that was his. Danilo. Sane will get that before Lauter. Here is Silva. And now Sane again. And that's. Side footed pass. Pope into the back of the net to give. Manchester City a 3-1 advantage. I just can't see any way back for Burnley now. Initially, you can see that me, the skipper, comes across to try and help out. He can't get anywhere near him. Great first touch and second. And you know what? You've got to give him credit for his endeavour, determination. Kept getting into positions. Here's the little give and go between himself and Silva. What a lovely ball. Great pace. Game set and match. Simple as that, Nigel, isn't it? But that I was saying about the overload and the extra man in midfield, and it's that player again. German will now be replaced by a Belgian for Manchester City with Gundogan heading off and Kevin De Bruyne coming off. Free kick for Aguero's first goal and then the back heeler, which was absolutely sublime, wasn't it? Just took the whole of the burn. And again, it's very deep. Met by Otamendi. Return by Hendrik. And the header from Vokes too high. All the power from a, a standing position, if you like. He's just where he is and he's trying to angle the ball over towards the, the far. No. Normally going to score from there. It's a, it's a loopy ball in from Hendrik. In charge of Bayern Munich. Lost out in the semi-finals of the FA Cup to Arsenal last season. <laughs> I mean, that nothing frustrates managers. Mr. Bruyne, outstanding vision once again. Sane, Pope has gone wandering. Manchester City can make it four, and they do. But the right time as we've just seen there from Sane. Well, that was a devastating breakaway. Silver and he just stroked it in, didn't he? Great finish. This typifies Manchester City's this season for me. Full of pace, invention, awareness, and then picking out angles the ball in behind the fullback. That's absolutely precision. Then look at the goalkeeper. He's caught in no man's land. And then you see Sarney just wait. He played it into the it was a goalkeeper going here. I mean it's a terrible decision for Pope to come out in the area that he has. He can't affect the game. If anything, he might out our strongest team. And it took us, I think, two games to get through in the third round. Here is me with the header, and Stones eventually clears. This is a Manchester City team, not content to stand still. They will always look 